Oh, hi there guys, how the hell are you doing? It's a brand new week, bub. Why'd you look so dumb? Ladies and gentlemen, y'all know the name. Too many peas. What's up guys, I hope you've had a wicked week. We are back and uh, things are a little different this week. I am leaving Norwich, but the burb is staying here. Oh, she's so down, guys. Basically, long story short, my dad's having an operation this week, and that means my mum's going to be home alone, and they live in, like, a big house, and which is very eerie when it's empty. I've stayed there on my own before, and it's not, fu uh, not fun. So, mum asked if I could come back and stay for a couple of nights, so... Obviously I said yes, um, but the burb has work and stuff, so she can't come, she has to stay here. It's gonna suck, we haven't been apart for like five, six months now, so it's gonna be a weird one. It's now like six something, um, it's like an hour and a half back home, and uh, let's go. Ah, oh, okay, and I'm home, and it is gloriously warm here, I'm the only one home, I'm still at the hospital, but oh, the heating's on, it's, oh, it's good to be back. Uh, it's a bit weird to be here without the burb. But it is what it is. I'm going to go try and find my cat now, because I expect he'll be chilling somewhere in here. I haven't seen my cat in so long, like weeks and weeks and weeks. Hello! Oh, long time not see! Oh, you've got poorly ear, haven't you? You've got tact, I heard. It's not very nice. Let's get you some food. Well, that's more bloody like it, isn't it? Woo! So yeah, I don't really know how this week's vlog is going to pan out. Apologies if it's not very good. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. It could be two nights, could be more, I don't know. Um, and as you know, if you have watched my vlog for a while, when I used to live here, my vlogs started to get a little stale because obviously here I don't really do much. I, I, I literally just sit up there, I work, and, and, and that's it. And I chill out. Um, I don't really tend to go anywhere when I'm back here. So... I'll probably end up having one of those vlogs where I sit and talk to you guys about stuff. Um, which I haven't done in a fair while, so that could be quite fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just going to wait for Mum to get home now. Probably take my stuff upstairs, get the iMac set up. Uh, that's going to be weird, because I've, I've still got to work while I'm here. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I'm sure there are a lot of you do, but for those of you who don't know, I edit videos for bigger YouTubers. Um, and uh, that is a seven day a week job. Um, it's a great job, so I'm not complaining, but it takes up a lot of my time, uh, and I can't just not work for a couple of days. I have to work every day, so I've brought my iMac with me. It's not nearly as powerful as my PC, but I guess we'll just make do and see what happens. I'm hoping the internet here is not too, too bad either, because at home we've got 200 meg down, 20 up. Here I think it's about 20 down, 6 up. So, let's hope I can meet those deadlines. Right, let's go. And I'm back. Look at the old oh hi there, it's Ben thing, the burp hand cut for me. Little patent and present you got me. For any uh, newer subscribers who didn't see when I first got this, I brought with me my Kashina. I forgot how terrible the lighting here is. I'm just, literally, I've just had to stand right under my mouth. The Kashina. Um, now, basically, what that is, is a memory foam seat thing that goes on the seat because this is my old IKEA seat. Um, basically, what it is, is I obviously sit down a lot. That's what I do. I sit and I work. Um, and that gives me a really painful tailbone. Like, just a real, real ache in my lower back. It feels like kind of like the top of my ass is bruised or something. So I did some research and everything a while back and uh, found out about these things. You, they're just like kind of a memory foam topper you put on your seat. Amazing. They seriously have just eliminated that problem. So, yeah, if, if you are a desk jockey like me and, uh, you know, you get the, the tailbone ache, get a Kushina. They are wicked. Um, oh, let's see what else I've got in my room. Over here I've got my wall of passes from where shows that I've shot and words I've got. We've got Papa Roach, I'll photograph them. Five Star and Shikari, uh, Def Havana. A lot of these will be Def Havana. Uh, Lucky Chops, that was when we shot Lucky Chops. Uh, Def Havana. Uh, this is the Bloodhound Gang, with a check on it. Uh, that's from the O2 Arena. That's, uh, who's that? Oh, that's from the Warfront years ago. The Wild Hearts, Matt Willis from Busted, uh, Mallory Knox. McFly, McFly. I keep meaning to bring this home with me because uh, the burb has a ton as well and we want to try and think of some really cool way of displaying them. Um, I think I might have to wait till the, the new house which we buy um, because we can do whatever we want with that house so I think we might wait till that but we need to think about it. If you guys can think of a cool idea of how we can put those passes together, you know, display them out in a, in a kind of, not just a traditional frame, do you know what I mean? Something cool. Let us know. Drop a comment down below. Oh, we've got, we got my PV. That is my old PV. Uh, 
this thing, that's my old mixer that I used to use back when I gained before back on the PS4. I could have really used that recently instead of having to go buy the new Yamaha one, but that was here and I was there, so. Hey ho, I've really left this room in a complete tip. I mean, I forgot how massive it is in here, but I, like, I just got like shed loads of DVDs there. Well, my bed hasn't been changed in five months, but uh, yeah, it's, it's good to be back. This is one thing I do love about Mac over PC. Right, this is my new setup to edit with. I've got the Mac, which is just all in that one. Bluetooth keyboard, tablet, I'm done. That is all I need, and I love that. Well, how time flies, it is now Friday, I wanna say. Uh, a couple of days have passed. Um, like I said, there was nothing for me to vlog at home. I was just working. Um, so, I have, however, decided that I'm gonna bring you in my office now now that I'm back in Norwich, I'm going to talk to you um, about what I do for a living, um, what it's like to edit for bigger YouTubers. For those of you who don't know what I do for a living, I am a video editor. I edit for YouTubers, uh, specifically one of them is uh, Quibble Cop, who if you don't know who he is, he is a massive gaming YouTuber. Uh, his main channel with the games has like 5 million subs. His vlogging channel, which I edit for, is just over a million subs. Um, he's he's big YouTuber and uh, he hired me to edit his vlogs for him. I'm going to quickly give you a backstory on how that came about and then I will continue on with uh, everything else I do. So Quibblecop is part of a kind of a threesome of gamers called Robust, which is Quibblecop, Jelly and Slogo Man. And they uh, race together and play different games together and together they've grown to the massive millions of subscribers that they are now. Now this all started I don't know how long ago, over a year ago, maybe two years ago, when Jelly posted out a tweet with a new end card design that someone had done for him and said, what do you guys think? And at the time, I was a designer, that's what I did. I wasn't an editor, I was a designer. And I tweeted him and said, I can do better than that, you know, which I realise is a bit of a douchey thing to say, but I knew it wasn't good enough. And, you know, for someone of, uh, of Jelly's size, he needed a better end card. So he said, well, do you want to give it a go? I was like, yeah, okay. So um, I did a des uh, design for Jelly and then I actually animated and made a full outro for him. And um, yeah, that, that went well there. And then one, one day I was on uh, Skype with Jelly and uh, he was at, yeah, it was when he was living in Amsterdam with Jordi. I was, I was on Skype with him and Josh Slogoman was visiting and um, he said, oh, is that the guy who did your outro? And he said, yeah. And Josh said, well, um, I, I would quite like an intro and outro. Would you be interested in helping me? So, I said sure, so I helped Josh out um, and then just kind of stayed in touch that way and then uh, eventually uh, Geordie, Quebble Cop, got in touch and my god the battery's going. Hang tight. Okay, new battery, sorry about that, where was I? Right, uh, Quebble Cop got in touch and said, hey man, you're a designer, uh, I need some t-shirts mocking up for my uh, web store, something you can do. I was like, yeah man, so did that. So, at that point, I'd kind of done work for all three of them. And then uh, a YouTube convention over in England came about called Summer in the City. And uh, Josh and Geordie were invited over and it was the first time they'd really had gamers over there. And uh, I'd already planned to go anyway. Um, so much so I'd actually booked my hotel, but I didn't even have tickets to go. I was trying to find a way to wangle myself in there, because, yeah. And then Josh said, uh, well, do you want to come with us? We can get you in. I was like, definitely. So, um, yeah, I arranged to meet him and uh, spent the weekend with him. First time I'd ever met them. And uh, I don't know, we just got on really well and uh, kind of carried on from there. I'd stayed very in touch with Josh because I was now at that point doing his web store. So when you go buy merch for Josh, that website was done by me and walk on that, the merch was, was supplied by me and everything. So that's uh, how my relationship with Josh grew. Um, and kind of kept in touch with Geordie and you know, always let him know if you, if you ever need any editing work doing, let me know. You know, I'm always looking for more work. And, um, you know, Geordie said, yeah, yeah, sure, maybe sometime. But I, I didn't really think much of it. But you know, kept in touch and uh, eventually, Jordy just got in touch with me out the blue and said, I, I need someone to uh, edit my vlogs. Um, do you want to give it a go? And I was like, hell yeah, I'd like to give it a go. Because, uh, you know, that was what I was good at editing. I edit for this channel, obviously. Um, so I did a test vlog for Jordy. And uh, yeah, he basically told me what he wanted. He, he said he wanted to put more more time into the editing because at the current time he was editing. And uh, yeah, I just went from there. I gave it a test. He seemed to like it and he said, all right. Do you want the job then? And I was like, yeah, man, I'll have the job. Now that was the day that my life changed, you know, in different ways. 
So now I was editing for a very big YouTuber and I was now going from being a self-employed designer um, to now earning a steady income. But equally I was working seven days a week. That is one of the pitfalls of uh, doing this line of work, is especially for a daily uploader like Geordie, especially with a vlog channel where he, like I say, uploads every single day. You have to edit every single day, otherwise he hasn't got content to upload. At the time, I kind of mixed it in with my design work I was doing, so I'd, you know, do a website here, and then I'd do Geordie's edit either in the morning or in the evening, and it worked well. Then I got work with another YouTuber who I'm not really allowed to say who it is, but yeah, I got work with another YouTuber and that was editing gaming videos. Now, that's a lot different to the vlog stuff because with the vlog stuff you've just got the camera and you just edit. With the gaming stuff you've got the gaming footage, you've got the face cam video, you've got an audio track, you have to sync them all up, it's a lot more intensive on the computer, it's, uh, it, can be, it can be quite easy to edit or it can be quite difficult to edit depending on the game, how the, how the game flows, uh, it's just a different ball game. Now initially, that second YouTuber was kind of going to be more of a I'm going to get some work for the burb and if any of it overflows, I'll happily take some on because, you know, every little helps. We eventually went from being just like two editors for this channel to being the editors for this channel. So we got all the content, um, which was fantastic news, but it also meant that it was a much more hectic schedule. So bear in mind, I've got all that content and then I've got Geordie's content. So it kind of got to a decision where I had to kind of wind down my design business a bit. I mean, it's still there. If someone comes to me, I'll weigh it up. Do I have time to do it or not? But my priority now is video editing. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. Is it a good job? Surely it's a dream job. Well, yeah, it's awesome. There's pros and cons. Like, it's fantastic. I've got, you know, kind of a guaranteed income now, which I'm not used to. For years I've been a self-employed designer, so it's kind of each month fluctuates. Now I kind of know what I'm getting minimum at least every month, which is fantastic. However, it is... It's it's stressful. I don't want... Not in a, in a necessarily bad way. I think it's, it's relentless. That's what it is. It's relentless. So now not only am I working seven days a week for Geordie, I'm also working seven days a week for this other YouTuber, which it's just... It's fine. If you can get yourself into a, a routine, a schedule, it's fine. You can just bang them out and then have your downtime. However, getting that routine is difficult. You gotta remember when new games are launched or, or a DLC pack is out, you, you just kind of get given the footage at whatever time of the day and they're like, I need this today. And you're like, right, okay, fine, let's make it happen. And that means that it's tricky to organize your life anymore. Like, when I was a self-employed designer, I could come and go as I please. I could go, right, I can't be asked to work today. That's fine, I won't work today. Or if I wanna go away for a couple of days, that's fine, I'll just take a couple of days of work and I go. Whereas with this, there's so much more responsibility, I cannot simply go for a couple of days because then, A, I either lose money because I'm not doing those edits, or B, I get fired because they don't get their videos. I mean, that, that's one thing, Geordie and this other YouTuber are very, very cool employees and uh, employees, employers, and uh, you know, they're very flexible, uh, as flexible as they can be, put it that way. And there are many perks, like for example, later this month, uh, me and the Burb are going off to Spain, because Geordie's out there at the moment uh, for like six months, just over the winter period, he decided he didn't want to be in a sunnier climate, so he's rented a place in Spain, and uh, he's invited us out there, so I get a few days in Spain, which is great. Uh, it's gonna be nice. It, it was gonna be kind of like a working holiday. So it wasn't even gonna be a holiday. We were gonna be doing exactly what we do every day, just in Spain. But we've since found out that the other YouTuber we work for uh, is kind of gonna have a bit of downtime when we go. It just luckily coincided. So it kind of sounds like, you know, we're gonna have an actual holiday. I can't. Be, I literally haven't had time off since February when I was in New York. So it's gonna be incredible. Um, I say time off, I'm still going to be editing Geordie's vlogs every day, but it's only a couple of hours a day, so that's not too bad. So for anyone wanting to get into editing, I would say definitely do it. It is a very good life, you know, it's, it's meant that we can do stuff that we hadn't even thought was possible. Like, you know, we're, we're going to Spain later this month, you know, next year we're planning another American adventure. Um, in a couple of years we're going to be planning to buy our own house, as you know if you watch the vlogs, which in the UK at least, I don't know anywhere else, but in the UK it is so difficult to be able to afford to buy your own house. Um, and this job has meant that we can do that. So it, the rewards are fantastic. Uh, just be aware that if it's something you're gonna get into, you have to dedicate a lot of your life to it. 
Um, and if you're cool with that, then it's amazing. You know, I'm cool with that. I know it's work hard, play hard. I hammer it now, and in later years, when I might not be doing it anymore, I can reap the rewards from my savings. And yeah, I'm just having a good time, guys. It is a stressful time, but it's also, I don't know, inspiring, I guess. It's, it's, yeah, I'm very, um, I'm very happy with what I do. And uh, it's interesting, I never planned that I'd be doing this. Sorry for that noise if you can hear it, boy. The next door neighbours have been having their garden done for like five months. Who the hell has their garden done for five months? But yeah, I didn't plan this. I never thought my design job would kind of, my, my design company even would kind of like roll down and be on the back burner. But here we are today. And uh, yeah, it's exciting, guys. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying life. I hope that was interesting for you guys. I know a lot of you who subscribe to my channel have come from Geordie Jelly and uh, Slogo Man. So. Surely you're interested in all the gaming stuff, and uh, I thought you'd be interested in hearing what I do for a living, and uh, yeah, if that is something you'd like to get into, then just do it, man, I'm telling you. In the words of Mr. LaBeouf, just do it. Right, I'm gonna go. I hope that was interesting for you. Um, I don't know, maybe. If you liked it, slap a like on it. If you want to know anything else, like any questions you got for me, drop them in the comments below. Hopefully this is enough to get through this week's vlog. Like I said, apologies if it is shorter. Might be, I don't know, but apologies if it is. I obviously had to go home. Um, good news though, Dad's okay. He's out of hospital, so it's, it's wicked. Um, today we are probably going to book our flights to Spain. So that's exciting. Um, drop the comments down below, hit the like button, and remember, as always, do what you love and do it for you. Damn. We all need a little bit